from me. I'm taking our first impressions look, starting blind, uh, to Cozy Grove by the Quantum Astrophysicists Guild, which is one, a fantastic name for a development studio. It, it just sounds cool, you know? It's like, what do you make? Anywho, um, Cozy Grove is a simulation game, and it released this past Tuesday, that was August the 8th, on Nintendo Switch, PS4, which is where I'm playing it now, and the Xbox. Um, it touts beautiful, dynamic, hand-drawn landscapes, uh, dozens of memorable characters and spirits for you to find a befriend, 40 plus hours of campaign, which had me, and then you can also collect spirit animals, you can craft decorations, fish, and more. So it kind of runs in the same veins as something uh, like, um, I'll use Animal Crossing, of course, because that's the popular thing right now. Hi, Grim. And as you can see, I changed my my character there up the top right because, you know, Fairy, she, she deals with spirits. And I was like, oh, spirits, Cozy Grove. Looks like there's three save slots. This is already super cute, but let's take a look, shall we? Some spirits want items that take several days to acquire. Be patient and follow up with them. Now, the part about the 40 plus hour campaign, it says it's designed to span months of playtime. So they want you to, hello Nico, they want you to take your time with it. It's a game that you kind of play a bit of time at a day, rather than all at once as a huge play session, finish it, and then think to yourself, wow, what do I do with myself now? Already the art style looks cozy. Yes, it does, and the music's very calming. I dig that. My sister actually was going to purchase this as well. I was like, yeah, go for it. Uh, the Quantum Astrophysics uh, Physicists Guild, oh goodness, that's a mouthful, giggity, uh, have also put out a few other games. Um, I don't think ones that we have covered on the channel, if only because we kind of took a step away from the um, PC. So, by the way, this is my first time loading up the game, hence it's taking so long. Anyway, um, but they've um, developed Space Otter Charlie, Breakpoint, um, a more well-known one is The Bridge. I don't know if you've played it. It's a physics-based puzzle game. It also has the hand-drawn art style. It's kind of black and white in the style that Limbo was without being nearly as creepy. And they have plenty of upcoming titles too, so they're, they're someone to keep your eye on. Almost there. And then we can take a look. Super excited. Some resources like fruit bearing trees can only be harvested when they're colored. Oh, here I am. Welcome to the Spirit Scouts. No, I don't want to skip the story. Already, I am this cute little chibi girl with a big head, ear, uh, eared hat, and a little Scouts episode, episode outfit. Before you can head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. Oh, okay. Yay! Right off the bat, we get to make our... Let's, let's make a dawn, shall we? I'm... <laughs> I talk about myself personally, but you know, with quarantine, I've I've lost a lot of my my melanin. So we're gonna. Oh, this looks adorable. Yes, it does. Bella came in and she's very interested in the scrolling spirits in the background. She's she's staring. I just hope she doesn't try to jump at my TV. The green looks really nice with the outfit, but I'm pretty sure she can change the outfit later. I really like purple. The envy from the other scouts is palpable for my medium dreads. Oh yeah. Let's see, they come in different colors. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different styles and four different colors. No crazy colors, more believable hair, like brunettes and blondes, but still nice to have options. I mean, they didn't even have to have, you know, customization, but I think it's always a nice, oh, that's adorable. I'll look at the rest. Always a nice touch. Now, some of these hairstyles look like they're difficult to see with the hat on, though I'm, I'm sure once I take the hat off, I'll be able to appreciate them more. I think I'm going to go with black. My hair's closer to black than anything. Looking good, thanks. It's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Ah, just noticing down there in the bottom right, that is today's date and the current time here in the US of A, Georgia to be exact. So 
it is based on real time. Again, like Animal Crossing. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Oh dear. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Probably fall asleep playing just because of the music, LMAO. Wow, Nico. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spare scout motto. All those who are lost deserve kindness. Aww. All right, well, right off the bat, here we have the UI on both sides. The right side, it looks like a journal. It disappears when you move. The left side does not. We're moving around here with the left stick, of course. The right stick doesn't currently do anything. If I hit square, I can open that menu. It looks like this will be my quick slot, so I can have four things available right away, and then in here you can set your items to the quick slots. Alrighty, looking good. I saw some fish in the water. I love the look of this. It reminds me of Don't Starve, actually. A game that I am just terrible at. Stand near the embers and press X. Okay. You're literally just skipping around. It's not even walking. How cute. Calf, calf, calf. Oh, his name is Flamey. He looks like Calcifer. Log Scout. Tastes like a century at least. So where have you brought us this time? Oh, I guess we're I guess we're acquaintances. A place called Cozy Grove. A haunted bear infested island. Cozy Grove, I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures tossed into my embers. Oh, that's cute. I sense dozens of wounded restless spirits here, desperate for help but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. I've got this, Flamey. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? Very ready. I think so. What if I say no? <laughs> I'm not sure if this is like some sort of personality test, but I'm gonna... Uh, eh, I'll be confident. That's the spirit, huh? Spirit scouts, uh... I see, the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. Alright, so this is my starting camp. And as you can see, the colors are a little muted on the edges until I just set that fire. So it looks like I'll be spreading the influence. Um, this is a bed roll. I can't currently get to it, probably because it looks like the tent isn't even up. But let's go talk to the scout. Stand near fellow campers and press X. Hello! What the hell kind of scout are you? Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, a beaver? Looks like a beaver. Huh, another imaginary camper. Hey now! Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. That's a good tea, by the way. Unless, say you're not a real living person, are you? Yes, I am! Guilty as charged! Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Oh, it's a bear. Say, that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. Oh? That's right, 100% bona fide scout. Is that a problem? <laughs> but I'm trained to fix all your ghostly woes. Oh, me. Yep, that sounds like classic spirit scout propaganda. Oh dear, am I not as nice as I think I am? You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Charlotte seems very disapproving. Like Bella plopped down to watch me. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. Also hand-drawn, how nice. It looks like it stays here for you to appreciate until I hit X. Those bears are so cute. It looks like they're spirits helping her make the fire. It did not go as planned. Oh dear. No use dwelling on the past though, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. What? Wait, what happened? If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Alright? Step one, keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Okie dokie dokie! Drop spirit wood into the fire. You've discovered one of Charlotte Pine's memories. Is that what that is on the other side? Okay, so I have to find a spirit log. That sounds odd, but we're gonna do it. 
So for those of you just joining us, I am currently walking through, skipping really, through the tutorial for Cozy Grove. I've just arrived on my first... Hmm, gee, I wonder where this log could be. Sometimes objects are hidden on the ground. Alright, well it's gonna look exactly like that. Is this it? It is, okay, I just had to hit X. I was wondering if it would just vacuum suck into my inventory. What would you like to do? What are we doing next? Here's a log for you. Oh, he ate it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is spirit wood. Where did you get this? A ghost told me about it. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. You look a little scary. Flamey. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Okay, so here's the aspect where you're going to meet different characters and help them, kind of guide them towards the afterlife. Ah, uh, that spirit wood has finally caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new, a crafter of useful things. Crafting? Hell yeah! Alright, so spirit wood is a an important item that will help expand my reaches to the other parts of the island. Kind of not oki, oninaki then. Uh, you know that's in my backlog, Grim. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. That's a little, a little horned thing at the corner, you see that? Still a little bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. Alright, are those enemies? Oh hey! She got a little bit of a little bit of life back into her. And I get some currency, it looks like. Okay. So as you can see, the light has expanded now that I've made Charlotte happy. But what are these? Okay, they just disappear. Hopefully those evil looking ones disappear too. So I'm assuming, since they're handing me currency, that I'll need it to either buy some ingredients, because they did just introduce a crafter, to buy some ingredients or to have the crafter help me in the first place. I'm not sure what the crafting system looks like, but let's find out. Here is our other spirit friend, but let me see what else has opened up. Very neat looking. I wonder if these holes I'll be able to place traps for like small game animals. A la, um, well we also did that in Survivalist, but I was gonna say a la, uh, don't starve. So I'm getting very don't starve vibes here, especially from the way it walks. A little bit of Animal Crossing mixed in with a uh, spirit farer. If you guys remember, I have, um, oh I just noticed that there's a little sign that says Cozy Grove. Anywho, I've uh, featured a lot of Spiritfarer here on the channel, and it was a great time. Beautiful game. Alright, are you another little bear? Yes you are! You're a snorkeling bear! <laughs> Jeremy Gruffle. Oh! I guess you can see me! Hey, finally made it. I've been curious about this game and have been waffling. Hey G-Mad, what's up? It's, um, I think it's still on sale. You know, they do that that uh don't quote me on that actually let me look it up for you while we're looking at jeremy gruffle he's adorable um it was on sale it was like a 10 percent discount which isn't much but i mean every penny helps right and i definitely say go for it it is adorable and it's something that'll fill up your time there's a bird skull on the bike down by the beach yes grim i saw it and chose not to comment why you gotta be like that what's the matter bella it's for sacrifice. I doubt it. Once the color returns to it, it's going to be something cutesy. Or like an actual bird. Let, 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 let's see. Ba, ba, ba. No, I don't think it's on sale any longer. I actually can't see because I've already purchased it. But it's $14.99. Won't break the bank. It'll... They promise 40 plus hours of campaign, so it'll... It'll fill your time. So sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. Apology accepted. You're sorry. For what? Blood for the blood god. For haunting a perfectly good island. The last thing I want is to drift around the afterlife, glowing blue, getting in the way of upstanding folks like yourself. Oh, Jeremy. You're okay. It's unseemly. <laughs> Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. 
me I can make it up for you, maker buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Branch. I sort of remember where I saw one. I was near a broken rowboat. Okay. Which is obviously going to be down the, by the beach. Uh, actually, I think I saw one up here. By the bird skulls. Yeah, right here. Okay. They're a little dim currently. You'll notice that everything outside of the reach of the um, fire that I started and Charlotte, that first character, are kind of muted colors. But then as you bring fire back to the island, it starts to expand. So I'm excited to come back to this later and show you guys like how much of the island I've uncovered and how beautiful it's turned out to be. It's like, look at the difference between over there and then as you approach and the trees render in, they're all actually colorful. Look how pretty. Alright, here's our third branch. Let's see what he's going to make me. That's neat, so you're basically bringing life to it. Yes, you're bringing life to the island and helping the spirits rest. Look at these sticks, what beauties! Oh, he shuffles! Oh no, he's not a scuba bear. I thought those were goggle, um, like scuba diving goggles and a snorkel, because it looks like they're bubbles. Those are particle effects, and those are actually work goggles. A twist here, a scoop there, and voila! Your first shovel. Not my finest work. My paws kept slipping through the lathe. Where? Where is your tool bench, sir? But if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, the shovel will do the trick. See, spirits, I've helped my poor scout. My haunting is complete! I'm still here, aren't I? Oh, darn it. Darn it. Oh, you look so sad. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. Oh, you'd get along well with Nico. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spare log, too. Thank you. Okay, I don't know what those are at the bottom, but they look alarming. Alright, story advanced. I can go... Ooh. Okay, it drives them away. It's like, what? Yeah, okay, so they're scary looking, but they're not scary acting. But look at this little guy! Oh, wow. Okay, well, here's the workbench. It just all appeared underneath me. Huh! Can I pick these items up? No, these are his. Huh. Alright, let's go throw this log on the fire. I kind of assumed I would have to throw it... I can dig here. I'd have to throw it on the fire before he uncovered his work area, but no. All right, Calcifer 2.0, here you go. For those of you who haven't seen the Miyazaki movie, um, Howl's Moving Castle, <coughs> Nico, great move, great cinematic adventure. Well done, my lad is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed her beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh, he looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more! <laughs> I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. Well, that could be Grim or Nico. <gasps> Gee, man, how could you? Have you seen any of the Miyazaki films? Nico has somehow not seen any of them. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. Huh? Well, how could I see that something... Scout rank 3! Woo! I just got a trophy. Tutorial complete. I am noticing there's a little bit of stutter. But the game has been out for like a week, so I'll give it I'll give it some some time to settle that. It's not horrible. Can I help you with something? Sometimes you can find things on the island simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed these leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day, I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Okay, that's bold, so it's an important item. Wilderness Guide. Yeah, okay, so on the right side, those are our, our objectives. And then on the left... Ponyo was so cute! I don't get why people don't like that one. I liked it. Wind Rises I haven't seen. I've seen The Secret World of Arietti. Totoro, of course. Castle in the Sky. Okay. I've, I've watched most of his movies. I think the only one I haven't seen is Kiki's, which is... Oh! That's a big-ass fox! I'll buy your stuff! Okay. Kiki's Delivery Service and... um. 
Oh, Princess Mononoke was fantastic. That the boar thing scared me. Mm. And there was a more obscure one, like Lapless... Lapless is something, something, something. I'm losing track of my stuff. Oh, Mr. Kit! Kiki's is a classic. I, I don't know. I just never got around to seeing it. Take a look at all the shiny new stuff. Ooh, you are speaking my language, sir. <laughs> all the shiny new stuff, one thing. Well, I should fish. Sounds great. Take my money. <laughs> Me buying figures. <laughs> is giving me such a look. All right, how do I... There we go, you have to open inventory. Ah, and then put it in your hands. I don't... I don't think you have to equip it, though, because when I used the shovel earlier, it wasn't in that first spot. It just automatically selected it because I was close to an item I needed. All right, and then there's this guy I can talk to. Ghost of Laughless. Is that the one? I knew it had Laughless something in it. Somewhere in it. But yeah, I, I haven't seen that one either. I mean... On my list. Okay, how do I fish? Just hold it. I guess I should wait for the tutorial, huh? I just love the character designs. So whimsical. We talking Miyazaki or, or are we going back to Cozy Grove? Both. <laughs> Alright, who are you? You are not a bear. Captain Billweather Snout. In life, I was a bear o the sea. I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again, a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said. I betwixt the waves as I did. It reminds me of Tailspin. Oh, both, but cozy. <laughs> but did I listen? No, I did not. Oh, that must be his vessel. Look at the maiden head. It's a little bear mermaid. That's adorable. This game is so cute. And now, I am transformed. A vast young person, how long have ye been standing here? I'm sorry, were you delivering a soliloquy? Should I have left you alone? Ye caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Billweather Snout, though some now call me the Seagull Bear. <laughs> so are you a bear or a seagull? Ahoy, Captain! Ahoy indeed! Tis a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have precious little in common. It's a bear maid, thank you very much. All right, evil sausage, simmer down. Except, of course, for a love of fish. Speaking of, are ye hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing- Ah! Already got it! Look at that. I'll show you what's on the menu. There you go. Oh, I got another trophy. Bear necessities, beginner. I guess because I'm getting all the basic items I need. Aye, sailor, that will do. That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? He looks so stern! If you wanted to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. Now, hi, in, in case any of you are new to the channel. My name is Dawn, and I love games that allow you to craft and fish and otherwise waste time gather doing things that I would never do in real life. Oh, hey! I found the wilderness guide. So yeah, I, I've I've tried fishing before and wasn't great at it. It just it's not for me. I like tanning out on a on the water, so there's that. Hold R2, aim with yeah, I thought so. I did need a a tutorial here. I don't see any fish, but I'm gonna cast it just for the sake of casting. Oh, that's cute. There's a fish over there. You can't actually move it. Okay, so I'll cast up here. And hopefully my bait is yummy enough. It'll want to swim over. Oh, there we go. Come on. Gotcha. All right, my first fish. Collapsed lungfish. Oh my god, that's a horrible name. And there he is in my inventory. He's a collapsed lungfish, a common catch. Common fish. He's in winter. Tiny and lazy. Me. He's me. I guess it's winter here. It's definitely not winter in Georgia, by the way. Oh, he's sleeping. Hey, you. Food for you. I see you've been testing out your rod. Hmm. Well, either give me the one you've got or catch a new one. I'll be waiting. Any fish. Here you go. Ah, fine fin you've managed to dredge up there. Good eating. I think ye and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out to sea- oh goodness. <laughs> Stranded. My boat did what? <laughs> 
Oh, yes, a loose knot and a fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Don't blame yourself. This island's a maelstrom of ill fortunes, churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. So, young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Whatever plans you had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. We bears aren't an overnight project anymore. We're your neighbors, Squawk! <laughs> oh my god, look at that cat! You received Sparrowwood. No, come back! Oh. Oh, looks like I can pick up shells here now. All right? Yeah, all right. I already foresee myself having some inventory issues, but we'll see. Because my bar is filled up, and then I have one over here. I mean, I can sort it. It looks like there's not an auto way to do it, but... Yeah, I can add and remove things from my bar, but that's about it. Let me go give this to... To Charlotte, the guide I'd found. But yeah, there's still some areas that haven't been uncovered as of yet. I'm not sure if that'll all fill in. These guys are alarming. But, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, I'm about half an hour in at this point, and utterly charmed by this little island. Oh, I can dig here. One of those things where you'll see something and be like, Ooh, I can do this, or ooh, I can do that, and, you know, the time just gets away from you. That's it. Why, it's an old Spirit Scout Wilderness Guide. And hey, the memento collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where the scouts track their progress helping local spirits. Oh, how convenient. And a pretty good start on. Hey! I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look at the memento collection book now? Uh, sure. Yes! Lo show me my sweet relationship progress. <laughs> That's the spirit. Here it is. Alright, so Charlotte Pine, I've met. Oh, it tells you when you met it too. Type, forest, two of six found. So there's 17 total spirits to meet. An ornery seagull bear, still haunted by his past mistakes. And then Jeremy Gruffle. The memories are just the images? No, these are items I've gotten from them. Okay. And then these were the origin stories that I got um, for the original piece of spirit wood. All right. Good way to keep track. Oh, hey, I got two. And a little bit more of a... Ah! So the more you help them, the more it will increase their little um, aura of color, I guess you could, you could call it. Because here, she expanded a little bit. The controller rumble, too, to confirm, hey, you've done something. Alrighty, here you go, Flamey. Oh, wow. Put stuff in storage. Oh, there's storage! Check out my clothing collection. Upgrade tent. How much does that... Oh, my goodness. 5,000 gold coins. It goes directly to the Scouting National Committee. I don't see a cent! <laughs> I have 28 whole coins to my name. Alright, and then storage. I guess that will expand as I expand my tent. That's extortion, Flamey. Um, and then I want to burn something? Select items to apply open flame to in a less than rigorous manner. Hmm. Is that to cook? It doesn't let me... I thought maybe it was like a discarding process, but, uh... I'll bring a fish over here and see. Alright, um, here's a log for you. Delicious! Oh, that little face! Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. Well, of course, it makes sense that you would need more wood as you go along. Yeah. I sense a log in your bag. Oh, do you? <laughs> Greedy thing, here. Yeah, ha ha! Ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help those ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Amen, flamey. Help these bears. Guide them through remembering themselves. Eventually, they will find peace. Ah, uh, my light shines further, illuminating lost corners in time. I see another figure, absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. <clears throat> you two have that in common, I think. He's got a hero complex? That's what that is. Alright, let's see what it uncovered. 
Now, is there anything to the right? No, this is the very start of the island. I am going to go catch a fish, though, just to see if I can burn it. No, you actually do have to have this equipped. Okay, so just a little bit. Wow, right away. What the heck is that? Yeah, leather skin. Why does the top of it look like a, I don't know, a sundae? It's got something in his mouth. Not much seen around these parts. It's uncommon. Early spring. Oh, okay, so what season is this? Well, let's... Mm, but there's other fish here. <laughs> I do that a lot. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna do this one thing. Oh, wait, no, I'm already here. Might as well take care of these other things. Which is why I lose a lot of time to um, open world games, you know? No, I caught this already. I can't get over that name. It's a collapsed longfish. Not a longfish, a collapsed longfish. It just sounds unfortunate. I got stuck there. Oh, perfect. And by the way, in case you're wondering, because sometimes a game doesn't make it clear, you just hit X1 and it reels in. Like for the longest time, for uh, like Stardew Valley, etc. Or Harvest Moon, I should say, not Stardew. I thought you had to like hit X a dozen times, but no, uh, just once. Can I help you? You know, we are the only spirits that could use your help. Oh, her little blushy face. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young, placid bird. If you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. Wait, huh? Young, placid bird. I, I can buy it from him? Yeah. A happy spirit. Oh, it's a spirit animal. Feed cooked food and then harvest essence. Surround it with items it likes to increase your harvest. He's 250 coins. And there's a couple of other birds. Oh, this one's cool. An avian ghost. What will you become if you keep trying? Oof, 5,000 coins. These escalate quite quickly. And I can upgrade the store. Okay. So it looks like... Buy for three spirit deer essences. It looks like I can beautify the island by getting spirit animals, feeding them, and surrounding them by the things they like. And then in in exchange, getting trees and flowers, etc. Just to kind of customize the island the way I want it to be. Oh, what's this? Looks like a shell. Oh, sweet potato. Okay, so can I cook? I can! Okay, because it said I could um, feed him. That bird. Burn for two charred fish bones. Oh, burn for six roasted root vegetables. Okay. Sounds great. Ah! I assume I myself don't need to eat, but... Uh. Okay, I'm going to hold on to the fish just in case there's a tutorial about it, because it, I'm sure it won't be retroactive. And I wish more video games would be retroactive about it. Like, hey, I've already done this 20 times, but the game's like, uh, I don't recognize that. You gotta do it four more times. Can I help you with something? Hey there, maker buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. For what? I'm pretty sure you don't. I hate to say you're wrong, but you're wrong. I made you that slipshod er shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course, it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you, it's not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First, though, I'm going to need some soft wood, root vegetables, and wood... Oh, damn it! <laughs> I just cooked that root vegetable. And wood branches. Any root. And harvest from dirt piles, fruit trees, and dirt mounds with a shovel. So, can I just, like, shake you? Let me... Instead with a shovel, although I, I imagine they don't need the tree. Here's a leaf pile. Oh, okay, there's soft wood. And it all gets automatically added to my inventory. Uh, is this? Yes. Oh, mushrooms! Can probably burn those as well. See, and this is why you should hoard everything, because you never know when you'll need it. You ever done that? Make too much progress in the game, and then, like, the tutorial finally catches up with you, and you end up having to do more than you originally needed to? Uh, it happens more often than not. I'm not gonna talk to you yet. You stay put. Oh, what are those? 
and they all run away. I wonder if there's a point when they'll be friendly enough when they'll stay still, or if they're just like wild animals. Goodness, this is so relaxing. That's what I'm saying. Like I mentioned, my sister was asking if she should get this or she was gonna buy Castle Crashers. I was like, well, this will probably stress you out less than Castle Crashers because we had played and beaten it and on Xbox at one point. That's how long ago it was. So I wasn't exactly sure why she was trying to buy it again, considering, yeah, we, we finished the game. What am I doing? <laughs> Just wandering around and enjoying the ambience. Why do you ask? <clears throat> now I wish, oh. It's a shell. It's hard to tell when things are grayed out like that, what can be picked up and what can't. I was gonna say, I kinda wish the the prompt showed up a little a little sooner instead of me having to hover and be like, oh, okay, yeah, there it is. I haven't found another root vegetable. Fudge. Does a mushroom count? Nope. Fudge. And I need three of them. I have plenty of sticks. I haven't seen another dirt mound. Ugh, I might have to talk to that spirit while I'm waiting. Oh, there we go. Ha! Root vegetable. That's that's one, All right? So I can check my progress over here. If I hit triangle, it goes to the other menu. He wants five logs now. Good lord. Okay, any roots? Three of three. Oh, I already have them. I guess it counted even though I had cooked them? Okay, so I just need two more branches. Harvest from leaf piles, fruit trees, and dirt mounds. I don't know which trees I can smack, though. It said fruit trees. There's no fruits on these trees. Oh, some money. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot of it. This is a leaf pile. Well, I suppose it'll get easier as I recognize what I need to pick up, right? Right, this. All right, one more branch. I am curious as to what he'll make me. Maybe an axe? Seems like the logical follow-up to a shovel. Oh, there's another hole. Come on, give me a stick. Just one. Nope. Oh, wait. Grass. Damn. Everything except what I need. Now, the soundtrack is very relaxing. Very peaceful. Yeah, I can definitely see myself continuing to play this. I, I do have a bad habit of... Starting games and then getting distracted and wandering off to something else, but games like this I tend to return to, if only because they are made in such a way that you'll want time to pass and then things to refresh, haha, <laughs> before you come back to it. So that's that's like the perfect style of, of gameplay for me. Because I don't tend to be one that plays like just for a whole huge session, and when I do, I tend to then put it down and never look at it again. <laughs> That's quite a lot of material gathered. I bet you're wondering, what sort of tool is he going to make for me now? Sorry, no tool this time. Oh. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass a skill on to you, I can pass on myself? My crafting bench is open to you any time- Hey! Here, have some crafting recipes! Ha ha! Select one and learn recipe, then you can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. I believe you have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. I want to make something right now! Great! Oh, let me show you how to use my workshop. Okay, maker bears. It looks like I can combine smaller items into bigger items or rarer items. And I can make a chair or a fence. Well, a chair, obviously. Sounds great! Ah! Crafted! Yay! Alright, where can I put this chair? Oh, he gave me some stuff. I suppose that was my quest reward. You received glass blower's bench. Oh, that was too fast. Alright. I got glass blower's bench? Oh, it's a crafting recipe. Interesting. 
glass blower. I wonder what kind of things I can make there, like vases? All right, bicycle crafting. I can move faster. Or actually, it said fun decor. Decoration, fun decor, common artisan. Mm -mm, maybe not. Ah, two charred fish bones. Haha, uh -huh. I can get those. And then common bamboo large sculpture. Bamboo, where? Learn recipe. Then you can craft anytime you want. Yay! Eight softwood, three charred. I have enough for that. Should I just make it for the sake of making it? Wait, how many charred? See, now I'm interested. I want to craft something. Oh, how neat. I wonder if I can place these in my tent or... Oh, I like this. I'm going to make this first. Okay, it is just... For athletic scouts who aren't afraid of bruise needs and grass stains. Hmm. I just need two charred bones for it. Oh, that's so cute! It's a panda! Alright, I'm going to... Can you upgrade your tent? Yes, you can. The first upgrade costs 5,000 coins. I have... Ba -ba -dum, 34 coins. Sad face. <laughs> Gonna grind for a while. I'd like to decorate my tent, if that's possible. I have one log. Yum! Only four more logs before I'm full. I sense at least three logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. Well, I saw the guy. Um, let me burn these fish. Let me catch more fish first. And then I should be able to craft a couple of items. Just for funsies. I, I don't have anywhere to place them just yet. Maybe around the island, though. Right, it would help if I equip that, huh? Place here. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so it is to decorate the island as you see fit. So that's neato. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Ah! Oh, looks like a tadpole? Yeah, ugly loach! Oh, <laughs> he tries his best. I wonder if there's going to be a, like a compendium of the things I've gathered though. There's one for spirits, how I've helped them. I like to see that sort of information, you know, where it's like, all right, you've caught 34 of the 80 fish we have available. Here's the times when you can catch the other ones. Kind of like a Pokedex, but with fish. Or uh, anything, really. Alrighty. Let us char these fish. I need the bones. Select. Select. Burn all! Sounds great! That kind of seems like a waste of fish, but eh. I do appreciate that you can do all of them at once, rather than having to fish through that menu for a little while. Heh, <laughs> fish. Alright, I want to craft something. I will help you in a moment. This is so cute. Oh, but this is too. I wonder... I don't think... It says decor, so I don't think I can actually ride it, which is kind of why I'm hesitating. Like, why... Why have a bike that I... Oh, a dining table! Anyway, why have a bike that I can't ride? Crafted. Thank ya! Now, I wish I could do the same here, where I can select multiple things, or it would bring me back to the menu instead of having to talk to him again, but, eh, small complaint. Alright, let's get a... a planter, just cause. Crafted. Alright. So, let's place some decorations, shall we? If I go over here... Uh, I think it would make sense to have the picnic table around the entrance, right? Near where you're introduced to this. Although, can I just place them anywhere and pick it up? I guess we'll find out. Alright, place. Oh, okay, so I can place it in proximity to me. Ta-da! And yes, you can pick it up and move it around if you need to. Awesome. So yeah, just a little bit of extra extra things for you to do to make this place home. Place here. And then if I rotate it... Damn, you can't actually face the table. Well, I guess I've been move the table, huh? Alright, I'll move the chair. Place here. I can fit two here, actually. Haha! -ha! 
I unfortunately cannot sit down on it, but it's cute, right? Oh, you can run with circle. They didn't tell me that. All right, and then this planter. I want it near my campsite. It's really cute. Ta-da! Now we're cooking with fire. Spirit fire. Oh, what does he want? I like how there's a mouse on his head. It looks quite happy to be there. I mean, everything looks pretty happy. I guess I should help you again. You had a little... Yeah. Oh, I was just thinking. Maybe the reason I'm drawn, drawn to making jokes is because it has so much in common with what I love. Crafting. You come up with material, then you have to workshop it. And if you did it right, you nailed it! Seems like I can never quite get the last part down, though. Sigh. Why do I even try? Oh, okay. I appreciate you trying. Those were pretty lame, though. What's up, Mr. Kit? Oh, it's just telling me I need to do this for the... Oh, no money. There's gotta be a better way to make money once I get settled here. Ooh, potato. Keep that, and I uh, guess I'll talk to you. Whatever you may be. A postal bear? Patrice Furbach, the postal bear. Ha! I got the title right and everything. At your service. You know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in it for life. And I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. You never do, honey. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts? That's a whole new bag. <laughs> whole new mail bag? Ooh, busting out the postal humor from the jump. You and I will get along just fine. <laughs> Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. Sir, you're not wearing any boots. Delivery for local residents arrived at the town post office at 0800 Sharp. I relayed the deliveries to the listed residences. Ghost deliveries, though? They're processed through the physics psychic plane. They just show up whenever and wherever they want to. I ran patrol this morning looking for new arrivals, but I'd bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. So what you're saying is you want me to fetch a parcel for you. Look near a sculpture made of sand. I see sand piles in your future. Sculpture made of sand, so that's gonna be down by the beach. All right, so that's uh, one additional spirit log. We're still gonna need three more after to fill old Flamey's tummy. There was a fire right here, so maybe it'll appear here. Yeah, I can't light that. Just keep an eye out on that. And just pick up things as I go. I do like how you can walk through obstacles and they kind of phase out of your way so you can actually see what's beyond them. Instead of chopping around blindly in the muck. Okay, um, sand sculpture. I don't recall seeing one, but... I'll still look. Oh, there's eggs up here. Huh. I wonder if I can cook them. Hey there, buddy. Oh, hey! Okay. I, I just on a whim was like, that looks like I can touch it. What's up? A chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. Look how big his eyes are. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. He wants feathers. Go exploring. Look by a tarp. I also appreciate that they don't tell you outright what you need to do. You have to have paid attention to your surroundings and been like, Oh, hey, I saw that. I can go back this way. I mean, this is a tarp. Tarp, 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 tarp. Oh, hey! Well, that's one. It needs five. All right, so keep an eye out for feathers. Where was I just going? Postal bear. Postal bear! Here you are! Did you feel it? The rush of finding a package? The thrill of checking for a well-formatted address? Hell yeah, Postal Bear! I love packages. Let me be straight with you, I love this job. It's a tarp! <laughs> but I could use a postal helper to help me with the USDs. A postal helper? How exciting! <laughs> Depends on what the job pays. What's a USD? Oh yes, the thrill of the post. Unidentified supernatural deliverables, aka USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. 
But if you come across a troublesome package, one that's screaming in Aramaic or spewing demon fire, I'm so sorry. I quit. Well, you just send that puppy my way. Uh, do, do I have to carry it to you? What am I looking at? It's hissing? Because one way or another, the thing's bound to be addressed to me. Oh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Wait, I have a mailbox here? Give me that letter! Yes! Here it is. Hope you're settling into your solo camping adventure. Oh, cheerio, scout! Don't be disheartened if you can't find a needy ghost immediately. Oh, I did. I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. Lies! When you finally find a ghost, try to help it make peace with itself, and when you do, you finally graduate to second degree. Scoutmaster Blake. P.S. I'll try to write to you every day, unless I get busy. Mm. Alright, I'll take the present. Thanks. Oh, this one. Test, 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 test mail from Postal Bear. Hi, it's me, Postal Bear. I sent this letter to you via myself so you could see how it works. I've also included a little thank you for your help. Oh, parsnips. Okay, thank you. All right, that was relatively painless, and got my spare log. And this area got a little greener, and a little bit of money. Yeah, see, these are so much easier to see when they're in color. Some more little twigs, or branches. Give me all the money. I'm gonna need loads of it. That's neat. The postal system. I wonder if I'll be able to address letters to residents a la Animal Crossing. And remember, we're keeping an eye out for tarps. Uh, feathers. There's one. Okay, that's two. I have one more log for you, little fire guy. Might as well give it to you now. But yeah, G-Man, it seems that upgrading your tent will also upgrade the storage space, because... You know, if you're like me and you have inventory issues, you'll see my inventory is already half full because I see things. See things. I'm just like, ooh, I want it. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, I'll take that. I don't know why. I mean, you never know when you'll find a use for something, right? Oh, feather. Okay. I need a dosmas. Don't know how you say feathers in Spanish, so two more is sufficient. Ah, I got stuck on that one. I'm excited to change my outfit, though. That's cool. I wonder if you can customize the style of tent. Not sure yet. Stay tuned. It should be, because you can craft other decorations. I, I can't imagine why not. I'd like to find out what the hell these, these horned things are. They're kind of alarming. Is this like a little spring? Hmm, I don't see more feathers. And wasn't there supposed to be another... another spirit? Or maybe it's just existing spirits that needed my help. He didn't need anything. He just wanted me to craft stuff. Charlotte wanted the charm, which I definitely don't have enough money for. And the other guy just wanted me to find him some feathers. The, uh, seagull bear. Do you have anything else for me to do? It is really important to make friends. What if you get sick and need to crowdfund your appendectomity? Friendship equals survival, especially if you want to survive late capitalism. You know... You right. Oh, badges. Huh. These are achievements, and I imagine they're tied to the trophies. Bare necessities, meet three bear. Yeah, okay, so all these achievements, in-game achievements, mark the trophies you can get. So they're really just completion stuff. So those of you out there, like me, um, who enjoy collecting trophies, um, this will just be one of those games where you'll play slowly over time, getting trophy by trophy. And it won't it won't make you feel like dying because you know some of them tend to be like play the game on ultra hard mode without dying once. Tee hee. Like you know those devs are having a having a laugh. 
somewhere in this world. Alright, I need one more feather. And there's a bunch of fish here, so why the hell not? Oh, that went long. <laughs> why the hell not? Because your inventory is half full, Don. That would be why not. Du -du 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 -du. Another ugly loach. Ugly loaches need love, too. Oh, that's probably... Oh, you can actually... If you just hold down R2... You can select the directionality as well as power and then hit R2 again and it'll cast. That's useful. Oof, that was quick. Another ugly loach. Come on, I want a different fish. Or you can just hold and release, which is what I did then. I don't know what that at the bottom is. It looks like the flame guy wants me. Unless that's some notification that I have yet to clear. Maybe it's the badges? Because you can see there it looks like a flame. Oh! Reach fire level 2. You received 100. Oh! Okay, so the in-game achievements are going to be the bulk of my money. I was like, hmm. I have 30 coins to my name. What the hell am I going to do? That makes much more sense. So just by merit of playing the game normally, you'll get... Coins! Oh ho ho, I'm going shopping. This was 200? Ichthyologist, beginner. Ha! See, there is a reason for my madness. My my spontaneous fishing. Alright! We definitely have enough money. Let's go do a thing. And there, the notification's gone. Okay, because I was like, hmm. You want something from me, maybe? That's a relief. Yeah, you're telling me. I mean, I don't mind a mindless grind every now and again. Depending on what it is. Depending on what the rest of gameplay is like, you know? Sometimes, like, like Nexamon, sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and continuously fight monsters until you feel like dying. Boom! Spare animal! Ha ha! Wow, they step it up. The next one's 5,000. But I do have the quartz gemstones. Whoa, these trees are expensive. Oversized candle. Place near colored areas to expand the spirit light. Oh. Spirit imp. Oh, I can actually afford this. Should I? I don't... I don't know if I need those quartzes, I just got them for doing random stuff. What if I need them later? Oh, even the... Even the... Flowers have, um, their own preferences. Like, dislikes rustic decor. How interesting. So I guess it'll do better as it's near things. Place near colored areas to expand the spirit light. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll try it. Why not? Okay, so... Mm, this is a colored area, right? And if I expand it down to the beach, maybe? I said only colored items can be... can be harvested, so let's say there was a, a fruit tree, then I wouldn't be able to harvest it if it happened to be on an area that... Oh, no, wrong one. Place here. Oh, it shows you... How much it expands it. Okay, not too much. Oh, feather! Yay! Oh, I'll figure that out in just a moment. Squawk? That's a fine set of feathers. Why bother helping me, little castaway, when you have such troubles of your own? I'm just being neighborly. You give me a quest, I do it, you reward me. That's the way this works. True. Ha! Neighborly. You might find some what put stock in that concept here on Cozy Grove, but it doesn't mean much to us birds. Still, I thank ye. With that bits o fluff pad in my coat, the wind's bite does lose its teeth, but bundled so, a rule of the afterlife comes to me, clear as white rum. Even in death, ye cannot refeather your wings. <laughs> Alrighty. 
And he's a little more friendly with me. Ah! The beach is lit up, and I can actually differentiate the... the... shells here from the rest of the sand. Goodness. I'm probably going to need a few of these oversized candles, I imagine. Just to... oops. Just to light it up. It's too far. Okay, so if I place it here... Ta-da! Just for the sake of showing, I wanted to place it. I'll probably come back and get it, but that's a very interesting decor item. Hmm. Actually, I'm sure there's a better place for it. Cozy decor. We'll see if something likes cozy decor somewhere. Well, let's find out about raising spirit animals, shall we? That's definitely a, a large part of the game. This is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, does it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms to its true self, a ghost bird. If you're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. God damn it! In the meantime, let's find it a spot to live. Why don't you try place this animal on the ground near your campfire? Well, there's the time situation. I've got to wait till tomorrow for the bird. I'll... I'll record it, probably. Just for the sake of being like, oh, whatever happened with that bird? He's fine, growing well. I'm going to place him here. Dislikes imp. Likes decoration, lamp, rustic decor. Okay, so he'll like... Oh! He just came right out of my inventory, like, hello, a squawk. You like a lamp, so... Hey, look, a lamp! Woo! Big summer blowout. Of course, this doesn't light up anything useful. Oh, it likes donuts? Excuse you. What do I look like to you? Ha! There we go. He likes lamps. And so do these. Neato! Oh, there's fruit! Can I? I can harvest it. It likes lamps. Ha! That's what exploration gets you. Trying new things. All right. It doesn't go far enough to light up this tree, just a little bit of it, but that definitely did open up some new possibilities and make my little bird friend here happy. A happy spirit animal. Feed cooked food. So he's not quite happy happy yet. Oh, you can pet them! Whoa! Okay. I am okay with this. Oh, he's got two hearts. Alright, and when they're happy, then, of course, you get to... Oop, you get to harvest their essence, which is a terrible sentence, and use them to buy stuff from Mr. Kit. Okay, it does save your place. You can move him around whenever you feel like it. I just felt like he was in the way. Huh. Alright, I... Mm, don't have enough for him yet. One more... So I've got one left. He's sleeping. I'm not sensing any more spirit logs. Well, that's a problem. Check back with the spirits tomorrow to see if they need your help. For now, maybe go fishing or collect some seashells? Alright, well, that's the end of it. T the end, goodbye. No, um... <laughs> I actually played Castaway Island on Steam, which was like a tropical Animal Crossing. Of course, that was before the... New Horizons came out, and that was a regular thing. Um, but it, it definitely was a little heavier on the timed side of things, where there was only so much you could do <clears throat> in a day before you had to be like, all right, well, that's really all I can get done. So for those of you who like to constantly have something to do in a video game, this might not be for you, because it, it, it's made to be played in small doses. Like, I'll come back tomorrow and find that the animals have something to say to me. Um, I suppose if you wanted to, if, if you really wanted to, you could just turn the clock forward on your console, but that kind of destroys, like, the whole point of the game. I'm God, Flamey is not bothered by the rain. No, he seems strong. Leather skin. But, um... Yeah, this was uh, Cozy Grove. I'm, I'm of course going to continue to poke around, but I'm just sharing my thoughts on the experience. Very cute. I do like that. I, I love the design. Look at him. He's sleeping. 
he is very un unbothered by the the water coming from above by the way Grim. he's having a grand old time um excellent stream dawn thanks for sharing no worries i got you but this was super cute i definitely recommend it it's 14.99 usd or your regional equivalent it's available on switch xbox as well as ps4 which is where i'm playing it now my console of choice although i think this would be this would be well suited to the switch as a kind of a on the go game that you're checking into between your your more hardcore games like a 80 hour rpg or the or the uh, what's it called or your stardew valley session so yeah I got distracted by this fish, excuse me. Super cute, super sweet. Um, it's meant to be played in smaller doses, at least in the beginning. Um, you'll open up more things to do as you meet more denizens of the island, so no worries there, but it, it will be a little slow startup. I got about an hour out of it today, just mud sucker, Just chatting casually with you guys and running around and touching things before the game actually told me, you know, hey, maybe you should try coming back tomorrow. We're, we're done with you, go away. So if you don't mind that, then I definitely recommend it. Again, that style of play won't be for everyone. But for those of you who also like to kind of like wander around without anything to do, really, other than fish and pick up things. I, I know people like that who enjoy that aspect of things. Then, yeah, this might also be the game for you. You know, with the occasional... Oh, I got another achievement. No mound around. Harvest mounds. Ooh, 200 coins. I'm gonna go see if I can buy anything. Oh, I know I need 5,000 for the higher level spirit animals. But, maybe I'll be able to get a tree or something? Yeah, we'll check back in. Um, I'll see if I can stream tomorrow. I don't think I'm really doing anything, but that's for the... That's for the universe to decide. But we'll come back to it, see... They'll probably have something to say tomorrow. Yeah, there's only a number of times you can talk to someone before they're like, Don't you have something to do? But next time you see me, I will have a few things crafted, kind of spruce up my island a little bit, pick up some shells and fish, etc. I've been Dawn from Need to Know. Thank you for checking out Cozy Grove by the Quantum Astrophysicists Guild. It is a fabulous little game. Available now. Yep, catch you guys later. Thanks, G-Man. See you later, Grim. Stay in the know.